It's now been 10 years since the Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental was revealed. Let's take a look at why this 747 variant had its engines moved forward. Pilot Anas Mars explains that engines were hung on pylons that extended downwards on older aircraft for a valid reason. If engines were too close to the wing, the airflow over them could be drastically impacted. However, this issue is solved if the engines are fixed on a long pylon. This ensures that it's not too close to the wing. Moreover, the pylons act as vortex generators when in flight. This process adds energy to the boundary layer, which then improves the stall features of the plane. However, the large size and design of the 747-8's new GE Gen X meant that the setup had to change from the 747-400. The previous engines were all built in the late 70s and 80s and were second-generation high-bypass ratio engines. The 747-8 is fitted with new-generation General Electric GE NX engines, which are much larger in diameter with a higher bypass ratio than the engines used by the 747-400s. This meant that the engines can no longer be held on long pylons as this would reduce the ground clearance, Pilot Mars shares via Quora. So the engines are mounted on shorter pylons to solve the problem with the wing boundary layer energy loss due to close fitting of engines, strakes are placed on the engine cowling. When at high angles of attack, the strakes create a vortex and keep the boundary layer stuck to the wings. The 747-8 is also fitted with new wings which are way more aerodynamic than the ones on the 400s. This also improves the lift characteristics of the aircraft and helps to counter the effects of close-fitted engines. Altogether, Boeing was excited to introduce the GE NX engine due to the advancements that it would bring. These offer 15% improved fuel efficiency and 15% less CO2 compared to the company's CF6 engine. The firm emphasizes that the model encompasses the latest materials and design processes to reduce weight and improve performance. Only three passenger airlines fly the 747-8i. These are Air China, Korean Air and Lufthansa. Additionally, several cargo airlines enjoy hitting the skies with the 747-8F, while there is a future for the plane as the next presidential jet in the United States. Overall, no matter what the variant is, the design of the 747 invokes sentimental feelings. The Queen of the Skies reminds us of a glorious era in aviation. Even though the type's program will come to an end after five decades next year, at least it won't be fully disappearing from our skies anytime soon. Did you notice this engine placement difference before watching this video? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.